In this project, we will simulate the MHD effect and fluid flow using ANSYS Fluent software. The present two-dimension model is drawn using Design Modeler software. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is structured. A new window will appear showing you the DOM and extents of your geometry. Also, under the view length, view length unit section, you can see the default geometry units, which is meter in this project. Also, under the scaling section, uh, uh, under the mesh was created in, you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software which uh, its default unit was millimeters. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. As you can see, after double clicking on the energy button, in the appeared box, we have enabled the energy equation since we want to uh, account for the for the temperature changes in our computational domain. Also, in order to add a new material, all you have to do is to right click on fluid and then select new. Then in the appeared window, you either can define a new material by defining its properties yourself or you can click on fluid database and then in the appeared window, select a new material from the available list of material in the software. Also, if you click on thermal tab, you can see that the temperature thermal condition has been defined for this wall and the temperature value of 587 Kelvin is defined for this wall. If you click on UDS tab, under the user defined scalar boundary condition, you can see that for two components of the magnetic field, we have selected the specified value. Now, in the front section, you can see that we have defined two UDFs of insulating wall for these components since as you can remember in the previous slide we had defined these walls to be magnetically insulated walls. Now if you click on the thermal tab for this boundary you can see that the thermal condition of heat flux has been defined for this boundary and the heat flux rate applied on this boundary is defined to be zero which means that this wall is adiabatic. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence, but the residual must be checked as well. After double clicking on the initialization button, a new window will appear showing you different methods of initialization, hybrid and standard. Now in the standard initialization method, you get to choose the first amounts and values for the first iteration of the simulation progress. These values refers to the values used in the first iteration of the simulation progress and if you choose the values for each parameter wisely, your simulation progress will finish sooner. It should be mentioned that you can also choose the first values and in, or the initial values by just clicking on the compute from drop down list and clicking on one boundary. For example, by clicking on compute from all zones the software will automatically average the values in different zones and boundaries and put those values in the initial values for the software. After double clicking on the wrong calculations button in the appeared section under the parameters part by just defining the number of iterations and then clicking on calculate button, the software will start the simulation process. Now in this slide you can see the pressure distribution inside our computational domain which is caused by the movement of the fluid inside our computational domain which is, which is itself caused by the induction of the magnetic field on our fluid. And now in this slide you can see the pressure distribution inside our computational domain. As was previously shown and explained, you can see that the down wall has a higher temperature uh, in comparison with the upper wall. So in order to extract the 2D contours of magnitude of the magnetic field, all you have to do is to select user defined memory under the contours of section and then uh, click on save or display button. 
we can see the magnitude of the magnetic field applied on our computational domain. Also, in order to extract and show the path line and the streamlines of our fluid inside our computational domain, all we have to do is to right click on path line and then select it. in the appeared box. All you have to do is to select zone surface 5 under the release from surfaces and after that click on save or display. Now in this slide you can see the path lines of our fluid inside our computational domain. You can easily see that two massive vortices have been generated inside our computational domain which is caused by the magnetic field induced on our computational domain. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. The present problem simulates a fluid flow with electrical conductivity properties in a simple square chamber. The MHD model was used to simulate this project. Magnetohydrodynamic is a science that studies the magnetic properties of electrically conductive fluids. In fact, the MHD deals with interaction between magnetic particles within a fluid stream and the magnetic field. In this case, the fluid flow field and the magnetic field are combined, which is influenced by the induction of electric current due to the movement of the conductive material in a magnetic field, as well as the Lorentz force due to the interaction of the magnetic field and the electric current. The MHD model is designed in present simulation by magnetic induction method. This MHD definition method includes two user-defined scalar magnetic flux field function in the x and y direction. The electrical potential method, on the other hand, involves a voltage scalar function. For the four boundaries of the computational area of the problem, the boundary condition of the insulating wall type is defined. This means that no electric current is transmitted at these boundaries. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mester CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mestercfd.com.